This week, we see our brand new Leopard 45 catamaran for the first time at the Grand Motte Boat Show in France. And we walk you through the boat and its beautiful features, and it is fantastic. And at the same time, the lack of progress in the insurance payout continues to be a major challenge for us. And we share how you can experience ecstasy and agony at the same time, and how to ensure that the negatives don't destroy the good things in your life. So kick off your shoes and come barefoot with us. Distracted. Yeah, we're going to have a coffee in a minute, but not, we're going to see the boat first. We are minutes away from seeing our 45, so it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Let's get out of here. <laughs> ziggy zaggy, Where's ziggy zaggy. Where's our boat? It's pretty exciting. Walk faster. Go, girl. Bumping over chairs. Look at what I'm filming. Don't get in my way. <laughs> Lucky straight ahead of us. Stop pinching me. She's pinching. Me. Already on the back of the boat. <laughs> Behind us, in as we water. stand in the water there, is our new Leopard 45. It's 
it's pretty exciting. We're just waiting to get on board because some other people want it too. <laughs> but we're going to kick them off. We're not going to let them get it. So that's it. There she blows. First step on board. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Apparently we did. We don't really need that, do we? <laughs> Says he who doesn't wash up. Pots and pans, so not really that big, is it? No. That's um, what we're talking about. Yeah. That was like in the 50, we could hide the dishes quickly and put them under that. When, when they're dirty. That's good. Yeah. Fire blanket, fire extinguisher. We'll never need them. <laughs> Spices. Oh, Spices and sauces. <laughs> And of course this is a table that doubles up with a full table and spins around. <laughs> Isn't it? This is our cabin! Isn't it? Fantastic! Oh, beautiful! No sitting on the bed though. I really like the carpet. It makes it feel really plush, doesn't it? It does. It's like a, a motorboat. Wash your dryer it's in here. That's interesting. About the same length as the um as the cabin in the 50, although we don't have the VIP cabin. Nice big drawers. Of course, the cabin is made private by this sliding door. I keep on wanting to say, it's us, we select it. Setting up space for one there, one there. It's 
quite spacious. I don't see that much of a difference between the 45 and the 50 in this space. So, sitting on the front of our new Leopard 45, and it's lovely. It is lovely. But we're not allowed to look over at the 50. Don't look at the 50. Longer and it's higher and it's bigger. And that still feels like home to me. <laughs> so I can't look there, but this perfect. is lovely. This, this will be just... This will be perfect. It will. Can see the port bow. You can. I can see the staunching for the port bow, so I can see it relative to other things. You want to come upstairs I with think me? We should do it. Yeah, you can sit in there yeah. and I put uh, some shelving in. You are once again... Going... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Feels like deja vu. It doesn't seem that long since we did it the last time, but honestly... Oh, it's... It's still so exciting, There's guys. A few things, a little bit of water passing under the bridge since that time, isn't yeah. it? Um, a lot of people want to know how it feels seeing the leopard for the first time, you know, and you know how does that feel for us? And and it certainly is a is an amazing moment when we can step on board and actually touch it touch and it say, and "This is ours. We we are going to be sailing away on this in a matter of days." And uh, yeah, it's it's quite um, overwhelming actually. So um, yeah, I'm I'm keeping my emotions in in check, but it's a great it's a great moment for us guys. And we're sitting up here on the top deck of the 45, which when we bought the 50, the 45s didn't have. So now they have it, which is a, a it's a bonus. Michael, our very good friend. We've run into him in the boat show. I can't recognize you guys. Let's get a photo. Thanks. Nadine and, and Didier. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and they're looking for a boat too. Yes. Very exciting. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, I'd like to introduce you to our new best friends, Pauline and Jack. Yeah. Oh, from Switzerland. Yes. Say hi to yourself hi. on YouTube. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, Yeah. Yes, we are. What are you drinking? We're drinking some 
So my name is Frank uh, Berger, I'm the Vice President of uh, Yard Ownership and Product Development and I just wanted quickly to welcome you to uh, the owner's party. Uh, we also have some uh, YouTubers. Yay! They are all now, the Leopard 45 over there. It's, uh, you know, we had, you probably have seen them on YouTube, they lost the boat, uh, boat burned, the Leopard 50 that burned in Fort Lauderdale. So we were like, uh, you know, make sure that they had a, a replacement boat as soon as possible. Yes. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming. You're very important to us. And thank you for your business and have a good evening. Okay guys, so everyone wants to know how it feels when we saw the 45 for the first time and I was speechless, you know, the heart was pounding. Oh no, and you weren't, I you were just talking blah no, blah blah. I was, I felt speechless, I might not have been speechless but <laughs> But you know, the pulse was racing, the heart was racing, and yeah, it was it was, it was really a very exciting, a very exciting thing. And then when we actually got to step onto the boat, then there was kind of this flood of emotion that happened. So yeah, yeah. it was very cool. What about for you? Yeah, I mean, all of that was very exciting, and I mean, really, really wonderful to finally see the boat that we're actually going to be living on. So that was great. They, when I first went on, it was like, okay, what's here and what's that? And of course, the, the fabric was a new color, so that was a bit of a shock to us. We didn't us. even know we were getting that. Uh, I mean, we signed the forms, but didn't know what it meant. It was really, really wonderful to, to see the boat and to go through it. And, and it's very much like the 50, just not quite as spacious. There's a lot of things that yeah. feel kind of the same as yeah. what the 50 does. And the layout's almost identical, just doesn't have that VIP cabin. And for the Med, this is absolutely going to be a, the perfect boat for us for traveling around the Med and for exploring barefoot. It kind of is surreal. I had to keep telling myself that this was our boat, that this was, it wasn't just a demo boat that somebody else was going to sail away. This was actually our boat. We were touching our boat, so that was, quite surreal and very emotional. The 45 will be fantastic. It will be absolutely wonderful boat and we're going to have a lot of fun on it. Now, the opposite end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. the insurance, mm -hmm. still hasn't paid out. They're not looking like they're going to pay out in the Yet. near future. Um, and there are legal processes going on, which is a little bit of a concern. So on the one hand, we're dealing with this absolutely ecstatic event. On the other hand, we're dealing with this absolutely awful challenge and problem and and really we have had this sort of situation before where on the one hand life's absolutely wonderful and perfect on the other hand it's the worst catastrophe we've had in our lives and it's interesting because you can have extreme levels of happiness simultaneously with extreme levels of unhappiness and and i think everybody needs to be aware that it just depends on where you put the different experiences as to how you feel in your day-to-day -day life. So do you want to explain more about how people can do that? Well, it's really important that you're aware that you've got this amazing event happening or these amazing things happening in your life at the same time as the things that aren't going so great in your life. To have the ability to be able to pigeonhole the, 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 the bad, bad stuff. stuff and to be able to put it in its place and, and acknowledge, okay, yes, that's that's not great. I don't want my life to be that way. But importantly, you don't let it infiltrate or Take infect uh -huh. all the other part of your life that's really great. And and to do this, it's it's really about acknowledging how grateful you are for that really wonderful thing to be happening and not be focused on how bad everything is because of this bad event, but how wonderful everything is. And that way you actually can put things in perspective. Mm -hmm. So you shrink the negative component of it and expand the positive and the wonderful things. And, and that gets you through, you're able to compartmentalize. Look, the key here is focus on the really good stuff and have that as be your predominant feeling and mood and the really bad stuff. Do what you have to do to deal with it and then shut it away and leave it until the processes run at their course. You've got to make sure that your negative thoughts 
that are occurring about the bad events don't keep on infiltrating your mind so you block them off you close them down you shut them into that small compartment and you live with the joy and happiness that you have in the rest of your life and that way you can eliminate the negativity from your heart and from your emotions and live a better life and be happy there you go okay. you've heard it here he said it all <laughs> So guys, thanks for joining us for another episode. We hope you've enjoyed this one as much as we have. Uh, next week, we will be actually taking possession of our Leopard 45. We'll be holding the keys and that'll be really exciting. Okay guys, remember to like, subscribe and ding the notification bell. So ding the dong, you know what to do. But join us next week, that'll be fantastic. We'd love to have your company. So and, see you then. And it's gonna be a great adventure. See you guys. Bye for now. All the best. If you have liked this episode, hit the like button, subscribe for free and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and help from the Barefoot Doctors. Okay guys, so standing behind us, not standing behind, but behind us In as we water. stand. Oh, I've got stage fright now. We've got somebody, we've got an audience. <laughs> <laughs>